Hey what's up everybody it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks and today I'm going to show you how to set up an app that may actually help your loved one stave off Alzheimer's symptoms. Now I'll preface this by saying I'm lucky enough to not have any family members suffering from Alzheimer's so I honestly don't truly know the pain and suffering it can cause. I'll also note that this is not a medically reviewed Alzheimer's treatment. It is, however, an app that shows promise when it comes to slowing down memory regression in early onset Alzheimer's patients. The premise is relatively simple. You set the app up on both your device and the Alzheimer's patient's device. Then when the two devices are near each other, the Alzheimer's patient will receive a notification that displays your name and relationship and will even show pictures of fond memories that you share. To begin, head to the Google Play Store from your own Android device, then search and install the app which is called Backup Memory. Then once you have it installed, go ahead and open it up to do a bit of setup. First up, you'll have to create an account. Tap the Sign Up button near the bottom of the screen to do just that. From here, add a picture of yourself by tapping the profile image at the top of the screen, then selecting either Take Photo or Choose from Gallery. This picture will be an essential part of the memory aid since it will be displayed on the Alzheimer's patient's device when you're nearby. When you're done with that, fill out the rest of the registration form, but make sure to specify that you're a relative rather than a patient. After creating your account, Memory Backup will prompt you to give it access to your Bluetooth connection. This is how the app will know when the two devices are near each other, so tap Yes on this pop-up. From here, you'll need to start the process of setting the same app up on the Alzheimer patient's phone. So let me switch over to a different device now. Now on the Alzheimer's patient's device, search and install the same app, then choose Create an Account again. From here, the process is almost identical. Just fill out the registration form and add a profile photo, but this time be sure to specify that this is the patient's device rather than a relative's device. When you're done with that, it'll prompt you to allow Bluetooth access on this device as well, so make sure to press Yes on that pop-up again. Back on your own device, use the search menu at the top of the screen to find the newly created Alzheimer's patient's profile. Tap the plus button next to their name, then use this next menu to specify your relationship with this person. At this point, the app will ask if you'd like to confirm this relationship, so tap the submit button on this pop-up. Back on the patient's device, you'll now see an invitation request to confirm your relationship with this person. Tap the plus button here to do just that. Finally, on your own device, you'll see your loved one listed under the My Relationships section. From here, tap Create Events to add photos and messages that depict fond memories that the two of you share. Next, you can select a category for this event type, and while they have a nice list of presets, there's also an other category for everything else. After that, you can use this next menu to add photos and captions, which will be displayed on your loved one's phone when you're nearby. Once you've done that, setup will be complete. From now on, whenever you're nearby, your loved one's phone will buzz and it'll be shown a picture of you with your name as well as the photos and memories you shared. So it's a promising app and hopefully it can help preserve some of your fondest memories. But if you'd rather use a step-by-step -step guide to set all this up, just click the full tutorial link in the description below. And if this helped at all, we would appreciate it if you would offer your feedback in the comment section below. So we'll see you again next time around, but until then, happy gadget hacking.